Our names are Nat and Max, and just a few months ago, we realized that our lives are about to change after finding out that we are to have our first baby. As new parents, you can imagine that we're both excited and terrified as this baby is coming whether we are ready or not. So in this video, we'll be preparing two very important things before the baby arrives. It's when you don't ask daddy to pack. <laughs> hey guys, we're officially back home here in Vancouver from our Hawaii trip. And this is our first time filming after our trip. We had an amazing time doing a full travel series on the island of Oahu and hope you guys enjoyed it too. So on our last day, we didn't really film that much but we went around Waikiki, visited some malls, and did some last minute shopping with the family. So that's probably the last trip that we're going to have for a while until the baby comes, which is coming really really soon. But that being said, while we are preparing for the baby, we are still planning to bring you guys around Vancouver whenever we can. So we actually consider ourselves not yet ready for the arrival of our baby girl. So for this video, we were thinking that we are going to build our hospital bag and diaper bag. So before we begin, what is a hospital bag? A hospital bag is a set of things that you're going to have to bring to the hospital, things that you're going to need for the labor, delivery, and after the delivery. Ideally, this is something that you want to pack ahead of time before the big day because you don't want to find yourself packing last minute when your wife is in labor and you have to go to the hospital right away. And a diaper bag, as its name, would have a lot of diapers in it. And essentially, it's a set of things that the baby is going to need whenever you're going out of the house. But on our case, we're gonna need it as we go home from the hospital. So we did the research from the internet and listed down all the things that we are going to need for our hospital bag and diaper bag. So the plan is to go through all of these items and slowly build up our bags. So do you know which bag you're using? Mm -hmm. Maybe let's go for the biggest bag that we have. This is probably the biggest bag that we own and I think this is going to be perfect as we're gonna have to fill this up with a lot of necessities. So for the hospital bag, we've created three different categories. One for mommy, one for daddy, and one for baby. Mommy obviously is going to be doing a lot of work so she's gonna need a lot more stuff and we've categorized it to two different subcategories. The things that she's gonna be needing during labor and delivery and the things that she's gonna be needing after delivery. And the category for daddy is, these are the things that I'm gonna need in order to support Max and the category for baby are the things that she's gonna need when she comes home from the hospital. So the first few items that we have here are documents and birth plan. Documents, it could be the insurance card, your health card, and maybe some doctor's record. Yeah, so, so your medical history, if you have anything from your past history, may as well just bring it for the doctors. And the birth plan. Yeah which we don't have yet. So the birth plan is a document that you can hand it to your nurses or midwife. It's your preference on how you want it to give birth. Because some people want it to do like water birthing or regular birthing. So that's kind of like the reference of the doctor whenever you're going on labor. So let me see what's the next one. Bathrobe, do you have any bathrobe? I have two. <laughs> two? Yes. Max just working out the weeds over there. It's actually been a while since we last filmed in this condo. Being a one bedroom condo, we don't really have a lot of space to put our things. That's why we really maximize our den, kind of like our storage area. And you, you gave a name for our den, right? Bruno! <laughs> we call it Bruno because we kind of don't talk about whatever's in there. Are you sure it still fits? <laughs> it barely fits! <laughs> so this is my first robe and I have a second one over here that is more cozy as well. Maybe I can use this while sleeping and this one is for going out of the bed. How about me? So after the bathrobes, the next two items on the list are mostly for my comfortability. We have the socks and slippers. So the slippers that I have is good for wet and dry, so I'm just going to bring one. 
So next on the list is my lip balm for my dry lips and some moisturizer, oil, and lotion. This is especially helpful because our baby is going to be born during winter time. So this will take care of my dry skin and dry lips. I think it's also nice to put them in a ziplock so it won't spill in our bag. So this next item may be familiar with you if you've seen our Caribbean Cruise series. It's this neck fan that Max has been using the entire time. The actual hospital bag item is something that would keep Max cool. But since we already have this neck fan, we thought may as well use it and see if this is going to work for Max. So the last two items under the labor and delivery are the small towels and pillows. So these two items I think are going to be supplied in the hospital, but since we already have spares, we may as well bring them. So the next portion of the mummy category is the after delivery items. So the first one here is nightgowns because I usually have my pajamas and I don't think that's comfortable to wear after delivery. Unfortunately, we don't have that handy so we have to go out and look for a nightgown. The next two items on the list is the maternity pads and underwear. So good thing I got this disposable underwear that has the maternity pads already. So it's like two for one. That's why you don't ask daddy to pack. <laughs> this is a pretty common item that we bring with our travels. This is our travel toiletry bag. And it already has all of our toothbrushes, toothpaste, medication, and everything else. So I think it's pretty handy that we already have this and we'll just toss it in the bag. So we also need a phone charger to make sure that our phones are charged up because not only just for social media purposes, but also to connect with family and friends to update them with the status. So for the clothes, I'm going to bring one set and these are the clothes that I'm going to wear going home. So the next items on the list are snacks and drinks, which we don't have yet. So we need to go out and buy it from the store. But the last item on the category of after delivery is a thick blanket. So I have a thick blanket over here to keep me warm and cozy in the hospital. So the next category that we have is for the baby and it only has a few items. Body suits, socks, hats, blankets, and their going home outfit. So basically anything that would keep the baby cozy while she's coming from the hospital. So I've been preparing for this moment for a couple of months now. And if you guys have been following us on Instagram, we sometimes post a few of our baby collections in there. So for a few months now, I've started a small obsession with this brand called Bonds. They are an Australian brand company that makes these really cute onesies for babies. I really like them because they make this colorful and cute designs of onesies and they even collaborated with Disney, which we really, really love. And I also discovered that there's a big online community of mamas that love buns here in Canada. And I think that's a thing with babies, since they don't really have any existing wardrobe or existing clothes, we had to basically build everything from the ground. And I think Max did a pretty good job on finding clothes for her. You want to show them your collection? So I wasn't sure if our baby's going to be small, so I also prepared some preemie outfits for her. But it's only a couple of items, maybe five onesies for preemie. And the rest is for newborns. So I made sure that I categorize all the baby onesies by age group. So this is the preemie and the newborn clothes. And over here are just the swaddles. And the last drawer over here is for zero to three. They said that Australian clothing are larger, so I made sure that I have all the different sizes per age group. So here's an example of the buns design. This is one of my favorites. It's floral and I love the color. It's perfect for her feeding time or play time. And what's nice about them is they have this mitts that you can just fold. So it eases my mind that I don't have the problem of finding the other pair of the mittens or the socks. And I think I know what you guys think. This number of onesies might be a lot for a newborn, but as we've done our research online, newborns do a lot of spitting and other surprises. So <laughs> we're just getting prepared. So we're trying to we're trying to decide which hat are we going to bring to the hospital. Just look how tiny that head is. So tiny. 
think we found our hat that we're going to put it in our bag it's so small so we're not sure what outfit to bring so we brought one preemie and one newborn outfit just to make sure so I think instead of getting her a jacket, since she's pretty small still, we're just gonna bring this baby swaddle that we bought her for, I think for a couple of months ago now, hey? Yeah. So we're just gonna bring this uh, and just wrap her around this swaddle. So the last but not the least category is the items for daddy. So these are kind of kind of the same things actually. Kind of the same things for mommy and for baby because we got snacks and drinks, clothes, toiletries, pillows, a little bit of an entertainment checkbox on there. But I think the most important for me is capturing all of the moments in the delivery room. So I'm gonna need my camera gear, which I got prepared already. Found on me a bunch of people are screaming. I just ignore and then go on with the dream. Hey, we're going to get four. I'll have the truffle crab and caramel pudding. And I'll get a white chocolate, please. Uh, and I guess one of those truffles. Oh, actually, can I get the salted egg instead? Yeah. So guys, I'm so excited because this new pastry shop just opened in Vancouver. This place is called Hazukaido and I think the first time Max and I tried these pastries, these croissants, were, we were still in Montreal, which I think was about a year ago now, hey? Yeah. So the Hazukaido croissants are a mix of European and Japanese inspired. You can just almost see all of the goodness. They have a wide variety. We just got about four pieces of croissants and a couple of drinks, some lattes, and a milk tea. Did they have milk tea before? So this is the truffle crab croissant. It's really good. <laughs> you already know that it's really good. <laughs> you I haven't tried even it in it. Montreal. Ah. Mm. It's really good. Still the same. <laughs> <laughs> I remember having their salted egg, which was really good, so I got this again today. If I remember correctly, the salted egg is inside. Mm. It's right there. So there's like a, a cream filling of the salted egg inside. I'm so happy. <laughs> Best breakfast. Best breakfast ever. It's a good thing I remember their salted egg. You like it? Yeah. I saw it and then it clicked. <laughs> oh, I like that one. That brings back so many memories from Montreal, right? Yeah, it feels so long ago. Yeah, were you already pregnant in Montreal? I think we were, but we don't know yet that time, right? Ah, I guess our, our baby girl already went to Montreal and Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> and tasted the croissant. <laughs> so after having a quick bite for breakfast, Nak and I visited a baby store to pick up some items that we know that we are missing from the list. So yesterday, we made up our hospital bag and last night, we picked up a diaper bag that we bought on Facebook Market. Yay! It's a nice size of bag. Comes with a small pouch for the milk bottle. Perfect. Here it is. I think it's pretty nice that it's not that big, but it's not that small as well, right? I think it's the perfect size for a diaper bag as well. We got a pretty heavy list though, so let's see if that's actually going to be fitting in the bag. <laughs> I think it will. So the diaper bag is mostly the things that are going to be needing by the baby when you go out of the house. So those are things like diapers, wipes, milks, bottles, and everything else. And the good thing is, about a month ago, Max and I went to a baby expo. It's an expo where we got a lot of free goodies, so we can pretty much add this to our diaper bag. Also, if you guys are interested about the Baby Expo and all of the goodies that we got from it, we can probably discuss it as a part of a future video, but let us know in the comments if you guys are interested, so we'll know. So aside from the diaper bag that we bought yesterday, we also ordered these clear organizers from Amazon because I wanted to organize the baby items by category. So there's going to be a change me, a dress me, and feed me, and we'll show you guys how we did it. So the first few items on the list are diapers, wipes, and baby cream. We already have those handy, so we're just going to add them in the bag. So 
So another thing we got from Facebook Market is this changing pad, which is very convenient and compact. So when you open it, you can change the baby here. And what I like about this changing pad is it has this side, so the baby won't tend to roll over. And it looks like it's also waterproof as well, so you can easily wipe out all the the blasting of the surprises over there. <laughs> yeah, so you can put here your garbage bag and some wipes, and if there's any spillage from the surprise, you can easily <laughs> wipe it. <laughs> so garbage bag and a hand sanitizer is also part of this bag, and we are going to call this Change Me. So the next set of items are under the Change Me bag, which is, by the name, are the items that the baby needs in order to look fresh, clean, glam, and fabulous. So those are like pacifiers, burp cloths, change of clothing, winter hats, and light blankets. And we're gonna all fit it here on this small bag. <laughs> Your bag might be too small. It's okay. Here you go. I clearly need to level up my packing skills. <laughs> So the next bag that we have is the feed me bag, which includes all the food for the baby, including the milk, the bottles, and the formula dispenser. So a little hack that we found is you can also sign up with Enfamil program and they will send you three boxes of milk, which we have it in our cupboards. So we're kind of building our milk bank right here. <laughs> which is a lot of milk. At first, we thought that we were going to receive coupons, but we were surprised that we received three cases of milk. We are so surprised how much this box of milk costs. Yeah, and it's actually on sale too. And we got three of those for free. So we just saved a lot of money. It was surprising that they gave us this much, right? Yeah. And I think I have one more from an app. They gave me one box. It's kind of nice to have some stock that will last the baby for a few weeks. So since the formula is still in the boxes, we're just going to pack the bottles and the formula dispenser and put it in this additional bag from the diaper bag that we got. What's nice about this bottle bag is it's insulated, so it keeps the water warm. And the last few items on the list are for the Comfort Me bag. So that includes the medicine for the baby, the sunscreen, the nasal aspirators, the bug sprays. And also in that bag, we can also include the nursing cover for mom and some extra clothing. Here you go. Complete, Complete list. Perfect. Do you think we're ready? <laughs> I still think that we're pretty far from ready. What do you think? Are we ready? Maybe 70%. <laughs> <laughs> and who knew that packing two bags would be this exhausting? But even if we're exhausted, this vlog was kind of fun because this is our first experience building a hospital bag and a diaper bag. So it was kind of fun, right? Yeah, something new and, it, and I'm very happy that everything is organized. And hopefully this is also helpful for any of you guys that are expecting like us to give you guys a little bit of an idea of the essentials that you need for the baby. If you guys find that we're missing some items in our list, please comment down below so we'll know and we'll add it in our bags. But for now, like this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.